So I left a job that I truly loved to do this, right? Because I shouldn't be admitting this, but saving children, right? That was great, but saving you guys is better. Um, yeah, man, this is tough, bro. Cause, uh, we put our lives into this, you know, <sighs> we didn't miss a day, honestly. Um, it's tough. We gave up so much to, uh, give you guys value. So, um, yep. <laughs> it's Bryce Davis on the check-in. It's a sad day for Fresh and Fit, man. Myron Gaines can be seen walking off the set. You know, in case y'all don't know, the Fresh and Fit podcast have officially been canceled by YouTube, which means they can no longer monetize off the content they provide on YouTube. Basically means they don't get paid for doing shows on YouTube. And you know, a lot of their shows is based off YouTube. Now, you know, they've been promoting Rumble, so they knew this day would come. And you know, it's just unfortunate. You know, when I first was exposed to Myron, uh, yeah, I made that comment about uh, calling dark-skinned women, uh, what was it, Night Riders or something. I don't remember, but you know, a whole lot of people was mad at him. And uh, I believe he's like uh, Sudanese or Moroccan, something like that. So, you know, we don't really look at him as one of us. But, you know, one thing that stuck to me, uh, I'll never forget him on the Andrew Schultz podcast. And, you know, he just, he didn't back down, you know, because I didn't like him initially. I really didn't. But, you know, this is something about him, you know, when he was standing on all 10 about what he said. You know, I started to like him here and there. I started seeing TikTok clips of him saying some real ish. So, you know, hey, I got some support from him. But, you know, he definitely knew this day was coming. I mean, he did do some nasty things too, like the whole KKK's, you know, video where he reenacted the Klansman. That was, that was pretty nasty, man. But, you know, I'm not judging him for crying. I know this is passion. This is dream. And one thing about people, when you fail, they're going to have a lot to say and because, you know, that's the only part they can identify with when you be winning. You know, if you're a millionaire, if you're a successful person and you start to lose or fail, you know, people can connect with that. They can finally feel like, hey, yo, you're finally one of us because that's what I've been doing my whole life. So I ain't going to judge him for crying. And the fact he walked off, you know, that, that, that was cool because, you know, uh, crying in front of a camera is like the top 10 corniest thing you could ever do online. But, you know, he, he knew better and, you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, it sounds like he's about to say something about saving men is better than children. I've been seeing a lot of comments about people flaming him for that. But I think what he was trying to say is, you know, like the men lead the children. So we need to make sure the men are strong so we have strong children. But, of course, we don't know because, you know, he got off the set. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. If y'all, you know, feel like YouTube is bugging, I mean... I do feel like our free speech is under attack, you know, more than ever, more than it's ever been. Or let me know in the comments if you feel like we need it to be canceled, wherever the case may be. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.